guys welcome back to another week of instagram stories as you guys can see i'm out here with my horse where the hat gang <laughs> all right because uh, it's halloween you know we were just celebrating halloween this week so you know this is part of our costumes kind of sort of anyways welcome back to week 38 of my instagram stories now you know we're kind of coming up on the end of the year and um, I was just thinking to myself, man, what am I going to do next year? Am I going to still continue naming these things, you know, Instagram stories, week 45, 46, or am I going to come up with something different? Maybe you guys can help me out. You know, let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do naming these uh, week in reviews starting next year. Because again, we're, you know, about 60 days away from the start of a brand new decade. Yeah, I know. Anyways, guys, you already know the deal. In order to watch this, um, so it looks the best um, watch it on your phone watch it on your um, Tablet, but just watch it um, Vertically instead of horizontally Right anyways, so that way you can see it better. But anyways, I hope this thing's recording, right? It seems like it's acting weird as I'm recording. But anyways guys, let me shut the hell up So you guys can enjoy this week in Instagram stories. All right. See you guys at the end of the show mm. Mm. And there you go, guys. That's the week in Instagram stories. Now, if you're watching this on Instagram, then you're literally, you just saw a few minutes ago me recording the last bit of the Instagram stories of last week. If you're watching this right now on YouTube, this right here, then you're watching the first little 15 second or 30 second segment of week 38 we just did week 37 there we just finished it see weird right i know anyways so yeah all right well i'm gonna finish this up because uh i got someone that's coming over and i got christian coming over we got dinner tonight i got plans it's thursday night i'm gonna get some tacos I'm gonna rest up it's been a long week already still got a lot of work starting tomorrow but i'm pretty much almost done with today I'm just, you know me, grinding away, working until, you know, the people show up and t to pull me away from the computer. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you guys later. Or as they like to say, smell you later, alligators. What time is it? It's uh, coffee o'clock. That's right. My favorite. Coffee o'clock time. Sorry, right. I'm going to put my coffee inside my thingy here, and I'm going to have my coffee. Man, yum, yum, yum. Mmm, coffee. All right, so, well, you already know the drill. Time to get to work. Oh, wait, I haven't even opened up the store yet. Yeesh. Happy Monday morning, guys. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day already. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I know it was already daylight savings. Oh, wait a minute. It was only daylight savings for here in Mexico. It wasn't daylight savings for you guys yet. That's next Sunday. In fact, by the time you're watching this on YouTube, it would be daylight saving. So, turn your clocks back. But regardless, for anyone else out there in the U.S. of A., daylight savings is next week. In Mexico, it was this week. So now I'm two hours behind the rest. Week early, um, it's now two hours behind for like a week, and so I'm, I'm all discombobulated. It's like 9 a.m. in the morning right now, but I feel like it's like noon. It's not the rest of uh, the U.S. Because I like to go on East Coast time, no matter where I am, even when I was on the West Coast, I hated it on the West Coast, because it had to be three hours behind. I'm only one hour behind usually here, but now because we did daylight savings, it's like closer to eight in the morning. Anyways, all right, I need some coffee. See you guys later. Hey, 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 happy Tuesday, everybody. Oh, oh, what's this? Is that the camera? It's time to get to work. Yeah, I, I know, the last time I posted anything was literally yesterday after I made my coffee and I have been gone well honestly what was happening was that yesterday my girlfriend came over and uh, I just leave it at that I got busy er and um, that's why I haven't been in uh, online but besides that I've been playing catch-up for like the last two days um, and uh, yeah, that's why I'm a little bit behind right now. And then, of course, you know, you wake up. I wake up today, and I got you know all kinds of phone calls, emails. Even my mom called me. And usually, it's like a half an hour phone call. Two hours later, I'm fucking here, standing, talking to you guys, realizing that I'm beyond backed up. All right. And there's no amount of 
anti diarrhea I don't even know what's that thing that you take Maalox there's not enough Maalox in the world to help all right well I already finished filming a few episodes and now I'm sitting here at the computer you already know the drill all right just editing those videos so I can start the uploading process and all that good stuff and look it's raining outside nice I just realized that last shot was of the trash the garbage can so you know Lambo was getting a little jealous so here let me give him some free Hey, fuck you, man. Call me trash, motherfucker. I'll kick your ass, you fucking fuck. You know, this whole time change thing is really, like, fucking me up. I'm telling you. Like, and especially since it's, like, uh, weird out here. Like, in the sense that, like, the time change uh, was a couple days ago. Like, a week ahead of time to everybody else out there in the U.S. And uh, then on top of that, for whatever reason, like, it's 5.30 p.m. It's black outside. I know it's not 5.30 p.m. already. We're already past... 5.30 p.m. or like 6.30, 7.00, But, as you guys can see, you know, back behind me, you know, it's Lambo, hold on. It's black, it's dark. And so, you know, I, like, I, it makes me feel kind of like when I used to live in Seattle, when, like, the sun used to come up, uh, like, at 5 in the morning, and then, like, the uh, sun would go down at 4.30. So, 4.30 p.m., back in Seattle, the sun was already, like, you know, it was already black, like, you know, dark outside. So same thing is happening kind of here, only like an hour later. Anyways, yeah, uh, maybe after next week things will get better, but I doubt it. So it's going to be a little weird uh, for me until I get used to it. Also, I'm just chatting with you guys a little bit because I'm trying to make some content because I know I've been slacking a little bit, you know, making some uh, Instagram stories. And I know you guys enjoy, you know, me talking anyway. So I'm just going a little off the cough, cuff, can't say that right. Um... As you guys can see, I just finished doing some filming. I did three episodes today. Um, as I was doing Monday Motivation, I realized we're like 64 days away from the end of the decade. That's pretty crazy, right? 64 days away from the end of the decade. What have you guys done this decade? I was just looking back and reminiscing. It's like, holy shit, I did a lot. I can't wait for the next 10 years. But what about you guys? You guys have a good 10 years? Alright guys, as I was uh, putting together this week in review, I realized that I really didn't film that much um, because I've just been so busy, not just uh, this week, but you know, just on the last couple weeks and all that good stuff. So, what I decided to do was to just fill a little bit of time by filming right now and doing a little bit of filler, <clears throat> and I'm going to interview Lambo. Alright, so Lambo, how long have you been in Mexico? my whole life okay all right um are you a male horse or a female horse are you really asking me that question i fucking hate you bro okay we're gonna go with female um so where'd you get that hat you fucking put that fucking hat on me i like the other hat better oh this one all right hold on let's, let's switch all right well, what else? Um, I'm going to start calling animal services on you. I fucking hate this place. I don't like you, man. You you treat me bad. It's like, why are you, why are you acting this way, bro? Why? why, why? You, we, we fucking love each other, and uh, as soon as I put the camera on you, you start acting a fool. I don't know. I just need attention. I'm sorry, Jose. Please don't eat me. Please don't make me into to that. Yeah, yeah, you should know better. You already know there ain't no animal services out here in Mexico. Animal services are just going to pick you up and make you tacos. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I, I realized that as I was saying it. But, I mean, you know, I love it here. I really do. I love you. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, this is really crazy cool how we're doing this stupid uh, Instagram video thingy here. Um, you know, this is like the greatest life ever. Yeah, I, I totally agree, Lambo. I totally agree. Um, you know... This is awesome. You know, I love living out here. I love having a, a cartoon talking horse, you know, that I can, you know, uh, enjoy time with. You know, I'm never alone. Um, I love how this hat fits me perfectly. Um, I love how um, life is awesome. I, oh, you know what I can show you guys? Yeah, might as well. You know, it is the day of the dead. By the time you're watching this, it's like the, the end of the day of the dead uh, holiday and all that good stuff. So... I'm going to show you something that you're only going to see probably one time ever um, on this channel. And you're just going to see it on this Instagram video thingy, all right? Literally. So, you know, you, no one's watching this unless you're watching the Instagram video and you're this deep into it. All right, all right. Let me show you what I'm going to show you. I'm horrible. All right. So, check this out, guys. Look. 
this is my grandma, all right? She's already passed away, and this is my father. He's already also passed away, all right? My grandma and my father, all right? So why am I showing you this, and why do I have these pictures? Well, it's because it's the Day of the Dead holiday. So out here, instead of just celebrating like Halloween or what have you, what um, what they do is they celebrate the Day of the Dead. And so it's an actual celebration of, you know, your loved ones that have passed away already. And it could be anybody, you know, it could be, you know, um, a young child, it could be grandparents, it could be, you know, your parents, like in my case is my grandma and my dad, it could be a friend, it could be anybody. And to me, that's awesome because, you know, usually in most cultures, um, we mourn the death of a loved one. It's always the mourning and, and you know, and it's always sad and all that stuff. Yeah, I think, this is, yeah, sorry, the hat's making me hot. Um, but, you know, out here in Mexico, they actually celebrate the life of the dead. They celebrate your life. They celebrate everything about you and who you are, what you did, you know, all that awesome, cool stuff. So, you know, to me, that's really awesome. It's a really, really cool um, celebration, really awesome holiday. I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, to me, it was an honor that, you know, my girlfriend and her grandma both told me to print out these pictures so that I can also participate in this year's celebration. And now it's like, you know, the longer I'm out here, the more I'm with them, the more I do all the Mexican stuff besides eat tacos, um, the more I'm becoming, uh, uh, you know, uh, a Mexican, the more I'm becoming a uh, uh, unofficial official Mexican again you guys already know not only am I from the United States of America but I'm also of Cuban blood Cuban descent <clears throat> and now I have another culture added you know to uh, my repertoire of uh, life and culture or whatever which is the, the Mexican culture and it feels awesome you know the fact that you know they celebrate the dead they celebrate the lives of uh, these individuals you know um, is, is a very beautiful thing and uh, it's a very beautiful time to be out here in Mexico if you are ever gonna just visit Mexico any part of Mexico um, and you have uh, you know to choose between when you're gonna visit um, if you have the choice try to visit during the day of the dead I mean during most of the holidays anytime you know from October forward it's amazing you know, to visit out here in Mexico, but definitely during the Day of the Dead. Um, it's, it's an amazing holiday. It's a beautiful holiday. And again, like I was saying earlier, um, today I'm filming this on Thursday. You're probably, by the time you watch this on Sunday, you would have already seen the Day of the Dead videos, celebrations that I filmed, um, that I'm going to be filming tonight and editing tomorrow. So you guys can watch on Saturday. Um, this is the Sunday video. But regardless, guys, you know what I mean? Like, just to show you guys even more about what I'm talking about. It's like one thing is like, you know, I can talk about it all day, but that's why I choose to make these videos so I can show you guys more about what's, you know, really happening out here, what's really going on from a human perspective. And it's not like a film perspective. You know, I try to make it as real as possible um, by not editing as much as possible. And just, well, you guys already know my style if you guys are still here watching. But anyways, guys, all right, man, we, we cracked six minutes. I got about, you know, 10 minutes worth of film there, you know, give or take. I think we got a pretty good episode so far not bad you know this is what you got to do sometimes you know like a lot of times when i make these instagram videos it's actually just a you know i take all the videos out of my phone and put them together and it's quick it's like the quickest video of the week but today you know when i was looking at the editing stuff i was like man you know this is not going to be as easy because you know i only got like a sh take 10 minutes worth of uh film or what have you so it's like fuck i gotta I, I got two choices either make a really short shitty uh week in review or film something and you already know what the deal is the only shit I take is in the morning. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> but anyways, um, a little bit too TMI, right? But regardless, you know, I, I just wanted to make this so that I can just, um, you know, add a little bit more context to this episode and make it awesome, just like the rest of everything I do. I try to make it awesome. All right, guys, I'm going get, to get the hell out of here so I can you guys can watch the rest of the week and finish up this episode. And uh, thanks again for watching as always, all right? So, all right, on to the rest of the episode. Oh, wait, fuck, I forgot to turn this up. Just heard this little quote a few seconds ago. No slave works harder than that slave which doesn't even know they're a slave. Think about that for a minute. Or two, or a lot. It's hot.
I know it's dark, you can't see anything. Deal with it, sorry. Get, a, get yourself one of these big boys. I know, it's crazy dark out here. Yeah, it's only like 6.30 p.m. But anyways, yeah, as you guys can see, I'm almost finishing up here, just getting a last few more shots. I'm gonna pack up my bag, which is right there. And I'm going to get the hell out of here soon. So, all right. How's it going? Happy Halloween. Ah! Hope you guys are having a fun week. And uh, hope you guys have a fun day today. Whatever it is you guys end up doing today. And this weekend. Not sure if you guys are going to be doing the Halloween parties this weekend. Or if it was already last weekend. I don't know. Here in Mexico, we celebrate the Day of the Dead. So today, it's like the Halloween thing, but I'm only celebrating that with you guys and, you know, my American friends. But for the most part, oh, sorry, had a bug on me. <laughs> I'll fly. Anyway, but for the most part, um, I'm celebrating a Day of the Dead out here with everybody. So we're celebrating the Day of the Dead tonight. Um, we're going to go out to like some sort of... Uh, we're going to go to the graveyard, and then we're going to walk from the graveyard all the way to the center of the city um, through this whole thing. I'm not really quite sure about the thing yet um, because it's I'm new to this stuff. I, I went to it last year, but I'm not quite familiar with the whole, um, you know, how it all works and the whole um, you know aspect of the holiday and all that good stuff. But I, what I do know, what I do remember was that it was so much fun last year. And uh, yeah, tonight it starts. And this whole weekend, it's going to be a lot of fun. In fact, even this Sunday, I'm going out of town. We're going to go visit um, a family member of Christians. Uh, it's in like some town out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, we're going to go party there. And just, uh, it's going to be a whole weekend of partying. In fact, Christian doesn't even work tomorrow. So that's right. We're going to get fucking crunk. Well, you know. And, and uh, as crunk as you can get out here uh, for Day of the Dead. We're probably just going to eat a lot of food. And then that's it. We're just going to come back. And then tomorrow, um, well, I got to get to work. But she's just going to chillax while I work. All right. I got to get out of here so I can get back to work. <laughs>